right here I have a few add-ins that I got in my recent flip box and so today I'm going to be doing a flip fit lookbook. Today I'm just going to be styling a few of the items that I got. So they sent me six separate items total this time along with a few dupes of different sizes of a few of them. And I'm going to be showing you five of them in this video so I'm going to be trying them all on styling them however I think they would be best styled. And then I'm going to be showing you all of the outfits. So the first item that I have here is this leopard print dress with a little side slit. It is from Les Liz and you should be seeing just the dress by itself right now on the screen. So this dress is made of a soft comfortable material so it's comfortable to wear. It is form fitted and it is a midi dress so it is kind of short. And it has black little straps for the sleeves. And overall it's a fairly cute dress but I did pick this out with an outfit in mind that I would wear it with. So the first thing that I'm going to pair with this dress is just a basic black sweater over top of it. So I just have this black sweater from Randy Melville that I actually got a good will and I decided to pair that over top of it and I rolled it up a little bit so that it was slightly more cropped and just looked more tucked and I thought it made the outfit look better I thought this definitely looked cute with it and I also tried unbuttoning the sweater because it did have buttons that would unbutton on the front I thought that could be cute in my head I thought that would be cute and I definitely think this dress would look cute with some sort of a black jacket paired on top whether it be leather or denim but the sweater just doesn't really work out when it's unbuttoned. I think this dress would look super cute just with a t-shirt paired underneath and so I just have this basic black one from Old Navy. Now the straps of this dress are black so the straps are blended with the t-shirt which are undesirable in my opinion but the outfit still looks fine together. But I also did decide to try to pair a turtleneck underneath for warmer weather as if you still wanted to show the full dress. And so I just paired underneath it a slightly ribbed turtleneck from the brand Mink Pink. It is another Goodwill find. And I thought that definitely looked cute as well. It was very warm. But I thought that just wasn't enough. So I did also think that a black belt would look cute with this dress. And so I just paired this black belt with a gold buckle from Old Navy over the dress. And I do think the belt was a cute touch. Though a thicker belt might be cuter with this one specifically. And honestly it was a lot of black over black. So I would pair the black belt with a black t-shirt rather than the long sleeve. Or just with the dress by itself. Maybe with a jacket over top or something like that. But I didn't stop there. I also had to put shoes with this look. So I had these super cute black lace-up boots that I thought would look perfect with the outfit. Unfortunately, I have no idea what the brand of these boots are because I did find them at Goodwill. But I do think the boots worked nicely with this outfit and that would be all for piece number one. So the second item I have right here, it is a zebra print top with little tie-up sleeves from also the same brand from Les Liz. So this is like a fitted little crop top. It's got a zipper down the side. It doesn't fully unzip, but it does unzip most of the way. I do like the style of this top. I like the zebra print. I don't think it looks the best on me, but the first item that I paired these with were just a simple pair of high-waisted distressed shorts from Forever 21. So I think this top would definitely look better with something high-waisted just because it is such a cropped top. And so I just paired it with some denim high-waisted shorts and I thought it looked pretty cute with that. And I also had a few belts that I wanted to try to pair with this. So one of the belts that I tried pairing with it was a black belt. And I definitely think a black belt would work opposed to a white belt because the top is actually black and kind of an off-white creamy color. So I don't think the black belt was probably a better option than the white, but I do like my white belt better because it is a thicker belt. So I did also pair it with the white belt, and though that definitely could have been a look, I didn't like the off-white to white look of it. So I also tried pairing it with a different pair of pants. I did try it with some high-waisted black leggings because those were the only high-waisted bottoms that I had that were black. And I definitely think the black with the black stripes was a better look, but I did not like the tight-fitted look of the leggings with the tight-fitted top. So I did also try it with some high-waisted light wash jeans. So these are just some skinny jeans from the brand Almost Famous. And I thought those looked cute with the top as well and ended up pairing the black belt with this. And I think the black belt definitely looked better with these jeans and the top than it did the shorts. And so this was my final outfit with the look. Okay, so the next item that I got are these sweatpants. So these are just some black and white tie-dye sweatpants. They are high-waisted and they are from the brand Fate by LFD. They're not the softest. They're definitely 
a nice quality material it feels like they might last a while but they're not like your typical soft sweatpants material so these sweatpants i ended up only pairing with one top so it was just a little cropped top from forever 21 it was just a black basic simple top but i thought it matched so perfectly with these sweatpants and it just really gave it a cute look and honestly made me fall in love with these pants so I also paired some shoes with the look. I just paired my basic Converse. Now the pants aren't actual white. They're more like black and like dirty grayish white. And so the white on my Converse didn't match perfectly. I think a black shoe might have matched better, but white is a universal color. It typically matches with anything. So I think the Converse would have been a good shoe to pair with this look either way. And that's the only look that I created with these pants just because I figured the look was really perfect. The only thing that I could have changed would have been the top that I paired with it. And I don't think I had any top that I liked better than the one that I did pair with it. So that is the only outfit that I created with that item. And now we have the last item right here, which I actually am wearing right now. They did send me two different sizes of this. Almost all of my items they sent two different sizes for me to try. So this is a kind of orangish yellow wrap skirt with a little bow on it. It is from Sadie and Sage. So with this skirt I tried to pair a few different styles of tops with it. So first the top that I'm wearing right now I paired with it. And I think white is a perfect color to pair with this top. This is kind of a creamy off-white top. But I think it works perfectly with the skirt. So this is just a top from Forever 21. It is a slightly ribbed, slightly cropped top but not too cropped and I think the skirt works pretty nicely with it but I did try a few more tops so another top that I tried with it is a black and white ribbed tube top from Romwe. So I thought black and white would look cute with this just because pairing it together it kind of was a look. So another top that I paired with it is this checkered black and white top from Shein. It is very cropped and it's got some dainty straps and I think it looks super cute with a skirt and it definitely could be a cute outfit. So the last top that I decided to try to pair with this skirt is a white little laced up bandeau top. So this is another Goodwill find but it is from American Eagle Outfitters and of course I had to put shoes with this look and so I ended up putting some white sandals that were Birkenstock style that I just found at Target and I think they worked perfectly. It gave this look kind of a beachy feel. And the last item that I paired with this skirt is also another item that I was sent in my box. So this is a very cute little kind of wicker braided bag but they just call it a straw bag. It is from Details Matter. It is just a circular bag. It has some brown leather straps that are actually removable and adjustable. So I think that is so perfect. You could wear it just as a little handbag or as a little over the shoulder type of bag. And I think this bag goes so perfectly with the look. It has a beachy feel to it which adds to the look. And it's got some neutral tones to it so it would match with many different outfits and many different colors. And that is the last item that I got. So I figured I'd go ahead and show you the last item that they sent. I did not wear this with any of the looks because first, it's see-through. Second, it fit me, but it did not fit me. Which probably doesn't make sense, but if you saw it on, then you would understand. It just wouldn't work with anything. So here is the top. It is a very little roulette style top. It is crocheted, so it is definitely see-through. It definitely could be cute worn underneath a shirt where you could see like maybe part of it peeking out underneath because it has a cute kind of long line style to it. Or if you could see like some of it just peeking out through the top. Or even if it were big enough, it could be cute as a little like swimsuit top cover up, even though it wouldn't really cover much of the swimsuit. It would just kind of add to the look with some nice little high-waisted shorts and a little swimsuit top with this over it. So I definitely could have styled this. But anyways, that would be all of the items. And if you have seen any of my other videos of like flip fit unboxings, you would know that I go through them and I decide to keep a few of them because they do send them to you to try them on and then typically you won't keep all of them unless you really, really love all of them. So I'm only going to be keeping a few of the ones that I really, really love. So going through after trying all of them on, I've decided that I'm keeping two of the items. So originally this skirt, I was like, I need to keep it. I tried it on, it was so cute, but the skirt itself is very short. Short, and I think with how short it was I would need to pair some sort of like tight fitted shorts underneath or to wear it as a swimsuit cover up or else it just would be too short to really wear it. So that was one of the ones that I wanted to keep and will not be keeping but the ones that I will be keeping first are the sweatpants actually. I 
I originally was not planning on keeping these. They're not my colors really. I don't really like wearing dark colors. But I was really vibing with the look that I had on and I think they'd be really cute and perfect for winter just to throw on. So that is the first item that I'm keeping. The second item is this bag because look how cute it is. It's literally so perfect. This would literally go with so many things. So cute. Love it. Anyways, that's all the items that I will be keeping. I hope you did enjoy this video. And I think I'll have their app linked in the description. You can go check on it. You can also follow me there. The link should lead you to like the app and also to where you can follow me on the app with all the looks that I have posted. But also if you did like this video, make sure to go ahead and leave it a like down below. You can also comment. Comment which item was your favorite and which outfit that you think I styled the best. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel and possibly go watch a few other of my videos. I have tons and tons of videos posted and I do post every week. So I post twice a week, every Monday and Thursday. So I'll see you next time. Bye.